Our next guest is a professor at Ramapo College uh, who has run statewide before and he's uh, decided to throw his hat in the ring again. We're very grateful for that. Uh, a Reaganite himself, Murray Sabrin. Everybody. It's a pleasure being here in Morris County. Uh, I've been traveling throughout the state, and um, the ideas of Ronald Reagan live throughout New Jersey, and it's time to elect a Republican U.S. Senator once again, so I uh, hope uh, we do that in the fall of uh, 2008. Ronald Reagan is very important to me because I started a new career in 1979. In fact, I started the week that Margaret Thatcher was elected in England. And so when Tha Thatcher was elected in England and Reagan was elected in, in 1980 in the United States, we had something very special in the Western civilization. Finally, the breaking of the back philosophically of collectivism. That's what Margaret Thatcher did in England, and that's what Ronald Reagan tried to do in America. He wasn't 100% successful, but he put us on, our, on the road to breaking that hold that the Democrats had on the United States. I was writing articles virtually weekly in my new job as a staff economist up in New England, and I was looking at the economic statistics in 1979 and 1980, and I can tell you, we were on the brink of an economic collapse. That's what the economic data were telling me in 1979 and 1980. And along come Ronald Reagan, and he understood what needed to be done. Cutting taxes, getting those marginal tax rates down. When he was an actor during World War II, he stopped making movies because the tax rate was 94%. Think of that. You make a dollar, and the government takes 94 cents out of that dollar. That is a huge disincentive for the American people to work hard and build businesses and create jobs here in America. Ronald Reagan understood that because he understood the essence of America is the free enterprise economy. Getting taxes down, deregulating the economy. He lowered taxes, had peace through strength, and what he did was he created this tremendous amount of optimism for the American people. And he brought in the people who understood what had to be done. And what he did was put the economy on a, on a very strong track with lower taxes, marshalling the resources of the American people through the free enterprise system and hoping that the American people would follow through in future years. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened. That's why we have a similar crisis here in America today, in the year 2008. And I can tell you from being involved in the economy for the last 32 years, we are facing the same challenges today as Ronald Reagan faced in 2008. I do a lot of research on the economy and we are on the brink again of another serious financial crisis if we don't get our house in order in Washington, D.C. That's why I threw my hat in the ring. What I see happening if we're on the same track is very ominous for the U.S. economy. We need leadership in Washington, both in the White House and in the United States Congress, to take the bull by the horns and do what Ronald Reagan did, cut taxes, cut spending, cut regulation, and make sure we have the ideals in place for the next several years to turn this economy around. Because from what everything I see, if we don't turn this economy around, my greatest fear getting up in the middle of the night and, and having some moment is that the foreigners who hold a lot of dollars will start dumping them. And that's when they will checkmate our economy and interest rates will soar. That's my greatest fear because it's happened in great societies for the past 2,000 years. So we have to restore what Ronald Reagan understood, the integrity of the dollar, we have to cut spending, we have to cut taxes, and if we do that, if we follow the Reagan prescription, we will have a much better economy. That's why I'm in this race, I understand the issues, I've been promoting these issues for 32 years, since the mid-70s, when Ronald Reagan first tried to get the presidency in 1976. So with your help, we will have a great victory in November for the Republican Party here in New Jersey, and for the American people in 2008. Thank you very much. <laughs> 